Hey y'all, what is going on? My name is Zoe, aka Zozo Lit, and welcome to or back to my channel. I make videos every single week, so if that interests you, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell icon next to it so that you get notified whenever I post every new video because you don't want to miss it. Become a part of the Lit Fam. We're pretty lit over here. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be doing like my skincare routine for now. I have really super oily skin. And I want this to be like a realistic skincare routine because sometimes we still really consistent with the skincare and everything like that, but we just have like a little bit of a breakout, especially being a female, like hormones are like, yeah, all over the place. So honestly, we can't continue to blame ourselves for the way our skin looks. I'm going to be showing y'all my skincare routine. Let's just hop straight into it. So first things first, I got to take off my makeup. Most days I just do like concealer and powder and like fill in my brows a little bit like with the pencil that's it and i have lashes on today um normally i do mascara though Ooh. this is literally the best feeling ever the way i can describe it is like taking a weight off your shoulders except your shoulders are your eyelids yeah <laughs> so what i'm going to be using is this garnier skin active micellar cleansing water this I have found to be the best for um, taking off makeup, especially waterproof mascara. That can be really, really challenging to take off. And I have these cotton pads as well. Let's chat, let's chat. Like, honestly, this is something I'm still actively working on every single day. Like, watching the things I say, the things I focus my attention to every day. Because honestly, what you focus your attention on is what you're going to bring more of. Can y'all tell that your girl has been growing <laughs> mentally? Like if we focus on like, oh my gosh, my skin is terrible. Like I have so many pimples. Like what, what do you think that's going to do? That's just going to create more of that. It's kind of like, you know how you say something and then it like happens. You say something like, I hope I don't be late today. Or I hope this person doesn't show up. Or I hope this doesn't happen and then all those things you didn't want to happen happen. It's because you're focusing on it happening and you're putting all that energy into it so it happens. And some of y'all probably like, I don't have that much power. You do. You don't have to believe me. It's just gonna keep happening. I'm gonna focus on clear skin. I have clear skin. I'm gonna focus that even if that's not the case fully right now. And honestly, let's just be grateful we have skin, period. Cause they got some people they can't even like fully say that. So like, let's let's really start being more grateful, you know? Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. This is supposed to be a skincare video and I'm getting so deep, so quick. Hi, welcome to my channel. <laughs> We're gonna move on to cleanser. And for cleanser, I really just keep it simple. I stick to what works for me and what my dermatologist has recommended for me, uh, which is, I don't know if it's Cetaphil or Cetaphil. I don't know. Can I comment down below like how y'all say it? Cause I really don't know. <laughs> but it's this gentle foaming cleanser. Not me trying to pose for the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm sick of me. <laughs> No, milk is definitely, well not only milk, dairy is a trigger for me. That's why you know, I have a few pimples on my face. But from time to time, I will eat some cheese or some ice cream or something like that. But yes, your skin is not going to be perfect all the time. It's fine. Like honestly, it's really fine. Stop, stop beating yourself up about it, okay? Okay, now that I've cleansed my face, this brings me to my next product. And this is something that I don't do every day, but this brings me to our sponsor for today. Hey guys, so I really just wanted to talk for a quick second about our sponsor for today's video, Minimo. So they actually reached out to me to try this turmeric face scrub that they just launched not too long ago. And I was like, sure, cause just a little backstory. I've been dealing with acne for a while now, since in elementary to middle school to even now, I still deal with it sometimes. So I used to actually make a turmeric like coffee scrub and it was a mess. <laughs> so when they reached out to me about a turmeric scrub that they had made, I was like, okay, I can see myself using this cause I've already used something like that before. And um, 
really what it just helps to do is to brighten your skin and really like just exfoliate all those dead skin cells off to help fight it. Also turmeric is a very very great natural ingredient to fight inflammation. It's really really good at fighting inflammation so it's also good um, for acne as well. So it actually came in this package. It's called the, the Glow Skin Brightening Face Scrub and it actually comes with an applicator. Really really cute heart shape. Really really cute. So I have used this scrub before, but I've only used it once before and it, honestly I really really love how it works. So this is what it looks like. Love the packaging. This is what the inside looks like. This is a scrub that also doubles as a face mask. So what you're going to want to do is uh, wet your face, well cleanse your face first, first and foremost, and apply this. So you apply it, you, you rub it in for a little bit, for a, maybe like a minute or two, and then you leave it on for 10 minutes to really let the turmeric do its thing. Something like this would be a great reset for your skin. And honestly, I've been looking for products that's just more brightening because I've been feeling my skin looking a little dull lately. Thank you so much, Minimo, for sponsoring today's video. And let's get straight back into the skincare routine. We're gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. Your timer is set for 10 minutes. Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll see y'all in a few. Okay, I am back. Um, the scrub is completely off. My face feels so soft now. Next thing, and this is something I added recently, like as in a few months recently, and I've really just been enjoying it. It's basically a toning serum because I was like, my face has just been feeling a little dull. Um, that's also a great reason why I love that scrub as well. Just like a few drops. And I do it before a moisturizer because for whatever reason, if you try to do like your moisturizer and your like creams and stuff first, the product just will not mix that way. So really just helps keep the dark marks at bay, you know, dry pretty quickly. And I'm just gonna use this very generic moisturizer. It's supposed to be like a knockoff okay. of the Pond's one. I looked on the back, it was literally the same ingredients. I was like, why? Why would I pay more? You just pay for the brand. Moisturizing is so very important. People forget about their neck too, but don't forget your neck. Move on to the last product that I use in my skincare regimen. This, unfortunately, you do have to go to a dermatologist for and get a prescription for. It is tretinoin. I believe this is like a member in the, the retinol community. Like a little, a little family member. Like, and they family, you know. They just say to use a small, like, pea-sized amount and a little does go a long way. So, use that to uh, basically help the skin cells turn over quicker. I do have to go back to the dermatologist though, because I think I need a stronger prescription. Okay, and that is pretty much it. Um, I don't like to do a lot of steps for my skincare routine. I like to keep it relatively simple. I just recently added in the serum, but it was even more like simple than that without the serum. So um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Remember to be kinder to yourself. Be just nicer to your body. You have so much to be grateful for, like for real y'all. Love y'all lit fam, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.